Let's see how you can get a Tezos domain or a .tez domain and how you can create a domain page which you can redirect to any website you'd like. So I have an alternate account and I don't have a test domain associated with it. So let's see how we can create one. Go to Tezos domains and click on the first link tezos.domains. When you open tezos.domains for the first time, you need to connect your wallet. So simply click on connect wallet and you can choose whichever wallet you use. So I use temple, so I'll click on connect. It'll ask for your password and then the account which you want to connect or which you want to use to buy your domain. So I'll use this account and click on connect. So right now you can see I have logged in and now I can purchase a domain. So you can type the domain you want here and search for its availability. So let's say I use this tagline everywhere I make stuff. So I'll search for I make stuff and click on search. So I make stuff .test is available for one Tezos. So I'll click on register. So when you click on register, you need to request for this domain. So click on request and it will ask for a transaction from your temple or your Tezos wallet. So just click on confirm. While it's taking time to be loaded, there are certain things you need to keep in mind. Some domains like three digit or three alphabet domains are harder to get and they go into option and not directly into buying. So this is a longer domain such as I make stuff or the one I have and showed you before vector is you can buy these directly but some domains go into auction before you can actually buy them it's a public auction and anyone can take part in it i'll show the proper instructions or guidelines on the screen somewhere right here so our request is complete and now we need to set a registration period so the registration period is in years so you'll see that the price is one tezos for one year so if i increase the registration period to two years it the price will go to 2 Tezos. So let's say I want to buy the domain for 2 years. So I'll keep it to 2 and the price will be 2 Tezos. Make sure your wallet is loaded with Tezos before you start the transaction. So domain points to this address which is my address or my wallet address by which I am logged into or synced with the Tezos domains website. So you don't have to change this unless you want to point the domain to a different address but Unless you are using the correct wallet, you don't need to change anything here. So what is this set reverse record? So when you sometimes go to a Tezos profile and see this vector reside.tez instead of the long wallet address like this one, this is the reverse record as far as I know. So if you click this on, you'll see that this long string of numbers will be, will be replaced by the domain you connect to this address so such as my old address is connected to vector site.s so it replaces the long string of numbers that is my wallet address it also replaces the full address in your object profile also so we can see here that the profile is this much long which is our complete tezos address but in my other account it is this much long which is the domain name so for a recap, I have just changed the years here and I haven't changed anything here. So let's click on register. Now it will ask for a transaction again in your wallet and it will cost you an amount equal to what is shown here. So I am registering it for two years. So it will cost me two Tezos. So I'll click confirm to confirm the transaction and wait for it to confirm. It just completed and it showed a success operation here. Now you can get notifications on your email related to your domain name. So if you are buying a domain that is three words or which goes into an auction rather than direct buying, you can add an email here so that you know that you have been outbid on an auction or you have won one or you have sold an, a domain on the secondary market. So I am not going to do that right now. You can always set it up later. It will also give you the notification for when your domain is about to expire. So make sure you add your email here 
and don't let your domain expire or someone else might buy it so i'll click on skip and it says done it's yours but we are going to go a step further and we are going to set up a domain page or a dot test page which will redirect to any website you like so click on manage your domain and here you can see the domain owner's address and the domain points to which are both my addresses and the reverse record is on so people can see i make stuff dot s instead of this long wallet address so if i go to my object profile and refresh it might not be updated yet okay it's updated right here so you can see i make stuff dot s is here and the profile is also smaller so keep in mind this and this account is different the wallets are both different so that is why i am using two different domains on two different accounts so let's see how you can set a set up a dot test page so if you scroll down here you will see there's a decentralized web section here so you can access a website through this link so if i click open in new tab at this you'll see that it does not load to or it does not lead to anywhere so let's set up a website and see how it works so click on set up website and you can see you can serve content content such as from an ipfs service or you can redirect to a different url or you can turn it off so it does not lead anywhere so we'll select redirect to a different url so i am going to copy my object profile link and then i am going to put it here or what you can do is you can add any website link you want here you can add your own website address or let's say you have an fx hash page this is my fx hash profile so i can copy this link also and add it here so it will redirect to my fx hash page so instead of object instead of object i'll add this fx hash link now click on save and it will ask for another transaction in your wallet confirm the transaction and you can always change the website later but you always have to confirm a transaction through your wallet to change it so we'll just wait for the operation to be completed on the blockchain and then we can visit our dot tez page Okay, so we got a message that operation was successfully applied but the indexer is not caught up yet so that means the indexer might not show the data yet but the operation was successfully done so let's see if it just loads the website or not yet okay there you see it's working perfectly now so let's reload the page and here you can see the website currently redirects user to my fx hash profile you can share this link instead of your fx hash long profile and it will redirect to your fx hash profile by the way if you want to know how to create an fx hash collection like this one without knowing how to code or just using images as an artist you can click on this video to watch next thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one